Hello, uh, good morning. Welcome to .programming.blogspot.com. Uh, today I will show you how to generate a numeric OTP in ASP.NET C Sharp. Uh, actually, uh, OTP means uh, one-time password. Uh, how to create one-time password in numeric digits? Uh, you can create alphanumeric alpha characters and many more uh, characters include in this uh, RTP but uh, in this tutorial I will show you only a numeric RTP okay mm. by using the single uh, button click we can generate uh, RTP so the what is the logic behind the generating the RTP that is I will take a simple numbers that is 0 to 9 mm including all digits in the number uh, after get uh, how um, how much you want in rtp um, digits uh, actually uh, i want to say that uh, how many digi digits you want to uh, show in rtp that is uh, 5 or 6 or 4 so uh, I will show you five digits uh, different OTP numbers uh, the logic is get the number randomly by using the random class uh, from the numbers that is number is 0 to 9 so get the length of the number first of all and use the random class which is start from the 0 to the number length okay now um, also check that number is generated uh, previously then discarded by using the do and while loop okay so here we have a number that is 0 to 9 and the length of the number that is taking by the integer variable that is len also we have a uh, simple string variable that is otp the default uh, contain empty uh, here we have uh, take um, how many digits uh, you want in OTP so how many digits OTP you want mention um, which is described in, uh, by the simple uh, LAN methods so integer OTP digits equals to you can take any digits in OTP digits like the 4, 5, 6, and sectors. So, uh, in this tutorial, I will take 5. Okay. Now, uh, by using the for loop, I iterate through, we can generate random numbers. So, uh, the for loop uh, traverse the length of the OTP digits, that is OTP digits 5. So, here we use OTP digits. Okay. Uh, so uh, it means the loop travels five times okay now use a another string variable that is final character and that is retrieved by the index number final digits you can say so final digits is retrieved from the index number and index number actually generated by the random class uh, in the do while loop method in the do um, block get the index by using the uh, simple random class get index equals to new random dot calling the next method through which we can generate a random number uh, between the uh, number okay 0 to len and that is the len is the integer variable getting the len of the numbers length you can say final digits equals to um, calculated from the uh, characters you can say number n u m dot character array dot dot two char array dot uh, sorry index which is getting from the random number and get index dot to string 
now after that we can uh, save uh, that digits or you can say concat this digit by the OTP so first of all check the OTP is exist that digit or not so OTP dot index of method by using the index of method we can get the same digits exist in the OTP or uh, whether your number is exist in the OTP or not so index of the final digits is available in OTP is not equals to minus 1 if it is not equals to is minus 1 then do again traverse the loop otherwise it skips the loop okay the five times you are getting the value is minus 1 so OTP plus 1 equals to final digits now get the OTP on the label control it's a simple things we can do in your program after that you can send your OTP uh, on your mobile messages okay uh, like the Google uh, sign up and sign in um, steps uh, two step security we can build through the OTPs if you want to uh, secure your system by using the OTP that is one time passwords you can do this and things um, this this is the simple and uh, simple sweet algorithm through this you can uh, generate a random number and send the OTP and different OTP to your clients so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to uh, ASP.NET C Sharp and learn many more things by using my video tutorials